YouTubers, uh, John Festmeyer showing you some more Bodacious Creed stuff here. Uh, again, if you don't if you don't know what Bodacious Creed is, uh, check out the first video on my channel, or check out my uh, blog. I will I'll post a, a link to that. So it is uh, a blend of Old West steampunk and horror. Uh, that's all I'll say for now. You can you can read the rest elsewhere. Anyway, here's a problem I had yesterday. This is this was not fun because I spent <laughs> I spent a couple of hours uh, really tweaking the uh, vertices on on Bodacious Creed here, trying to get him uh, getting things you know smooth, lined up, fitting you know looking good for the model. Just just trying to get really clean topology, and I saved it. And when I uh, went to work on it again later and opened the file up, this is what happened. I have no idea why Maya did this. My, actually, my only guess is that you can see over here under inputs. My only guess is maybe at that time there was just too much history because sometimes that can mess things up. Uh, might have been because I was working with the smooth proxy so much. There's a setting to uh, mirror uh, to to when you're uh, editing something to edit the other side as well, basically, to, to do this uh, symmetry option. Um, and I've heard that could be problematic, but this is several uh, versions into Maya since then, so I don't know if it was that or what. I posted this file to my class forum. This is for organic modeling, too. I posted this to the class forum and I uh, asked for the instructor or anybody if they knew why this happens or knew how to, you know, fix this file, uh, I thought that would be, you know, <laughs> very helpful. Um, but I, you know, I want to avoid this kind of problem in the future. So, you know, as with any software, sometimes strange things happen. And even though I was saving uh, probably about every 10 minutes and saving in different versions, this happened. Anyway, the good thing, the good news is, I did, um, I did fix this. I worked on it a little bit last night. I worked on it uh, some today. I'll go ahead and save it there. Why not? And there, I cleaned up the topology quite a lot um, and got it to look actually probably better than I had it before. Anyway, I just went. You know what? I'm just going to do everything I can to like really get this right. So this base mesh is looking much better. Um, here's the proxy mesh. I'll show you something interesting. If I select the base mesh, it turns green, and that shows that it's selected. Um, okay, I do see a problem here. Looks like I lost a couple of uh, faces in that finger, but that's okay. I can I can fix that real easy. So, but anyway, so this turns green. The proxy turns uh, pink, which basically, in in you know Maya, that just means it is linked to whatever I have selected. So what I have selected, uh, this base mesh here, if I make changes to that, changes occur to the proxy. But, and here are just the proxy selected, so it's green. And I'm pretty happy with, with how, how it's looking. It's nice and smooth. It's looking better than it was before. You can see the um, obliques kind of coming in here. Um, muscles of the arm look good, and this is just in a very base stage, so it's it's going to get more detailed as I as I bring it up in resolution and sculpt it. Um, it was it was really hard to get his glutes to look right, but I'm, I think they look they look good now. So I, I did something I did something right there. Um, so anyway, that's that's just a little update I wanted to show there. And you know, after I after I finish this video, I will I'm definitely going to fix that. Um, the next stage for this for this guy, and this is what we're working on. Um, it's primarily the assignment for this week in class is to do uh, the UV mapping for him. Um, UV maps are basically think of it as uh, it's a lot like a, a pattern for a for clothing. So, uh, you know, if you were to make a bodysuit for for this guy and you wanted it to be one piece, there are going to be seams and it's going to need to unfold. Um, and then you would get that all sewn together, but you know the the pattern would be flat, and it might be in different pieces, actually, and then get all sewn together. Well, that's basically what a UV map is. In in, in theory, you um, 
and it stand, the U is stands for one coordinate, the V for another, and it's so it's a two coordinate thing. It's a it's flat. Um, you create UVs for something, and then you can put a texture for it uh, within that space. Assign the image, the texture image, to the figure, and everything goes into place where it belongs. And so that's basically how we texture things. Uh, that's what we need for texturing things, anyway, is, is UV maps. Um, so I'm going to work on that. I will probably uh, record and show some of that process. And um, that is not quite it for the day. I have one more thing to show. All right, I ordered my copy of this print um, of Bodacious Creed done by Joshua Stewart from DeviantArt. This is uh, right on my, my DeviantArt site here. And I will put a link again to where you can buy the print. Uh, it's only twenty dollars for for just the print. Uh, it's quite a bit more if you want to get a frame with it. Of course, I wanted a frame for it, and I decided to just go out and uh, and buy a make my own frame kit because the the specific size is ten inches by twenty five inches. Um, so yeah, about twenty dollars plus shipping will get you one of these. Uh, there's there's Creed himself. Here's his cybernetic steam cybernetic coyote. Coconino, who is going to be in the, uh, I'll probably start working on him next, on the Coyote next semester. This is not the character Anna Lynn Boyd. Um, this is someone else, and he's, he's busting into her, uh, her, uh, her saloon. Um, the awesome voice in the background is my son, uh, playing around the house, and actually behaving very well for Dad today, so that's that's good. Let me get this video done without too much trouble. So, anyway, uh, again, if you want to read about it, I'll put I'll put links, uh, more about the thesis. I'll put links in the bottom. And uh, have a good day. Thank you. Damn it! I sounded like uh, BasilMarceau.com there. Sorry. <laughs>